So one final thing I wanted to show you how to do is to use a single light sheet. So um, the way this works is there can either be light sheets from the right or from the left, uh, which you control with this. But then from each side, under normal conditions, you actually have three light sheets, which look as follows. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Right, so they're, they're sort of like this, where you can see that they're coming in uh, at various angles. Um, and the reason is that what that allows you to do is if there's a structure in the sample that, that causes um, sort of shadowing, if you have three light sheets coming in at angles, you can kind of see behind the structure. You get shadows, but the, you at least get some information from behind there. Uh, the problem with these three light sheets is that, again, if you look at the guide, uh, I have a detailed explanation of this or, or, or during my lecture, uh, what it results is in worse resolution uh, in the z-dimension as you move away from the center of the field of view. You actually don't have the situation where the resolution only drops as you move away in x, but also it drops as you move away in y. And if you're doing very precise work, that's a major problem. You really don't want to do that. You want to control your resolution very carefully. And so in some advanced situations, it's a good idea to use a single light sheet. And so the way you use a single light sheet is by going uh, to advanced, and then instead of being on the measure mode, you click here on right, for example, if you're imaging with the right, and then you'll be imaging with a single light sheet. Now, obviously, if you're imaging with a single light sheet, it's going to be dimmer because while it's not, they're not one third on each sheet in terms of power, um, you know, having one instead of three, it, it's less. So you will need to compensate by increasing the laser power. Um, but again, if, if you need this sort of extra precision, um, you can get it. Um, by using just a single light sheet. And in my guide, there's an example of the difference it makes uh, in, some, uh, in, in you know, some particular applications. So that concludes the sort of advanced imaging things. Uh, if you have questions, some of these things are difficult to implement, not in the sense of what buttons to press, but um, how to make reasonable decisions. Uh, I would encourage you to read the guide. Uh, and then once you've sort of digested that, uh, please come and talk to me and we can discuss how you can optimize settings for your particular sample, for the particular analysis you want to do while, ex while expending the least amount of time and effort possible. Um, so please let me know um, if you need you know, help with any of these advanced settings. Uh, and as always, you can email me.